Let's get started, guys. Grab a stick, a band, something to open up the chest and shoulders when we're done. Toss it to the side. Lunges with arm circles. Start things off. And big circles. And reverse it. Time to get these shoulders good. And big circles into bobbies. We're going up and down. Oh, and shake it off. Monkeys, that's all I need the gloves for. Gone. Monkeys up next. Dig in. Ooh. Okay, grass hoppers. So one leg forward in the Spider-Man lunge. And when you're ready, you can step or hop the other side. Switch back and forth at whatever pace you like. Rapid fire for the last 10 seconds. Just hop switch, bounce to the other side. Ooh. Okay, dive bombers. Two, one, be it. And it feels alright, but it's over now. Okay, matrix coming up next. No push up in between, just a regular matrix. Two, one, step through. As your arm straight up first, and then bend it. Came on the other side. Ooh. 
flow, squat, burpees. Two, one, let's go. Got the heart rate firing. Lateral lunges, ready and go. Switch from side to side, whatever pace feels good to you. off the ground if you can. Bounce from side to side. Take it out. Last one we gotta do, squat. Arm rotations. Begin. guys follow my lead go on squat or push-up jacks I push-up jacks two one begin inside outside, inside. full 20 seconds here you can do this on your knees as well Okay, all right, it's all about intensity today. Bring it for one more round of these. Two, one, begin. Pressing movement, we're doing tiger push-ups. We dive through and reverse the dive. Two, one, yeah. All right, just two rounds of every movement, guys. Of these. Two, one, let's go. Mm. Okay, 
Corn cob push-ups, you go center, side, side, center, up. Two, one, let's go. One more round of those. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the last pressing movement. We got a minute, and then we're going for a minute break, minute rest, knee explosives. Ready, begin. This is, this is pretty much it for the pressing. Let's go all out, we'll get our minute rest. Two, one, begin. seconds rest before we get into our leg movements so just did four minutes of arms we're pressing we're gonna do four minutes of legs and then we'll do some abs you can lean in lean into these leg movements and try and go full intensity cross squats so you squat you cross back into the squat cross the other side starting in three begin Lunge other side, squat. I'll take you Ready? Begin. You as long as we're together, everything we'll do, you got me going all. You got me going all. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way. Just say you want me to. You got nothing to lose. Oh, there it is. There's the burn. One more round of those. Two, one. Let's go. Tell me what you wanna do. When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you made me fly. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. Okay. Split jumps. Put the left leg forward. We go jump, land, jump. Left leg forward, go up. Oh. 
Bring your both feet off the ground. Oh, ouch. Oh, shake it out. The burn is so real. Same thing, one more round. Left leg forward, ready, begin. leg forward. Two rounds on this side and we're done with the legs. Let's go. Lean into it. Hmm. All right, guys, stay in the fight. Two, one, let's go. Just 20 seconds. Smooth right here. We're gonna go all at the last 10, right? Ready? Right here, haul out. Keep driving into the pain. Oh, take out the legs. One minute rest. Ooh, that was something special. All right, abs up next. Start things off with flutter kicks in 13 seconds. All right, lean back. We're going in five, three, two, one. And flutter it out right here. Crunching up, shoulder blades off the floor, lower back pressing down into the mat. They crunch tight. One more of those, guys. I know those are tough. Two, one, let's go. Got lower back pressure down into the ground. Okay, V up, six. Keegan. Bicycles up next. Let's go hop on your bikes. Those. Yeah. 
into these right here. Climbers, elbow or knee to opposite elbow. Begin. Shoulders right over your palms. Hips low. Oh, those are tough. Yeah, if you can, if you can get that contact, knee to elbow, go for it. Or close is fine. Mm. Okay, side plank with leg raises. Left arm down. And side plank with the leg raises. Right, we're gonna do the same thing, one more round. In two, one, side plank leg raises. And we'll do the right side now, right arm down. Two, one, let's go. This is gonna be hard. The glutes are already torched. Mm. Mm. Okay, there's one more though, send the booty gets the rest. Backs, so we got hollow holds coming up. Two, one. Now reach forward so you can touch your knees. This is really tough. Bring one knee in. The lower back pressing down. Fingers reaching for your knees. <laughs> okay, one more of those. One, let's go. Go reach and crunch. One more. Mm. Oh. All right, flip it over. Slow plank climbers. So on our forearms, nice and slow. In the abs tight. One more. And rest. 
fast for a full minute. Oh. Guys, we got four minutes of work left to do. We're gonna ramp up the intensity all the way through to the finish. Time for the burpee variations. Don't worry, some of these are pretty chill. Like the first one is a plank push-up burpee. So you drop down to your palms, lower to forearms, press up to the palms, stand up, jump. Forearms, palms, up and clap, yeah. All right, how many can you get in round one? We're going in two, one, begin. No actual push-up, just a plank push-up. Okay. Got five and a half. I'm shooting for six this round. Two, one, begin. Surfer burpees, we're gonna pop up to our regular stance, left leg forward. Ready, begin. Pop up, left foot forward. We're gonna pop up, goofy stance, or right foot forward. Begin. Forward kick through burpees. Just the left leg is kicking forward. So it goes push up, crouching tiger, left foot kicks through. Ah. Back into push up, and up. Push up, crouching tiger, left foot through. And up. <laughs> okay, that was tricky. We'll get it for the right side. Now we're on the right leg. Two push-ups per rep here. Begin to push up, crouching tiger, right foot kicks through. Mm. Okay, that was a bit of a mess. Close to burpees for the finish, guys. So two, one, begin. Pop, pop your feet and hands together, and then up. Your best here. It's not happening. You can do regular burpees. Is it all out? Final 20 seconds, coming up. Two, one, begin.
another 25 seconds to rest. Then we'll get into our shoulder stretches. <laughs> Grab your equipment. Continue to scratch our breath. Always do our shoulder pastures. Pull apart, bend over the top. Keep your arms straight as best you can. You can't quite get them straight, go wider. If you still can't get them straight, a slight bend is okay. But ideally, you just get something longer. If you're feeling good there, you can choke up on your band, your piece of equipment. And let's do some around the world. One more in that direction. And then we'll reverse it. And now into our tricep shoulder stretch. Right here, pulling the arm back and down, or across the back of your head and down. And let's switch sides. Toss your equipment to the side and we'll drop down into the bottom of the squat. Do this however you want. I like to do it both hands on the ground. Rotate up on one side and we alternate from side to side. the squat. Ah. Old man surfers, send the hips forward and send them around. And reverse it. Do a few boomerangs, you go rip, rip. Do those too. All right, feet around your hips and reach down to the floor. Grab your elbows. And we'll swing from side to side in our rag doll. Go a little bit wider with the legs and keep going, sweeping from side to side with your torso. Now let's go even wider. Here I like to grab behind the ankles, pull deeper into the stretch. All right, and we'll step the left leg forward. Right foot goes back hips down, our Spider-Man lunge.
drop down to the forearms. And now left foot steps forward into our split position. Pull left leg back, right foot steps forward. Into our Spider-Man lunge. Drop down to your forearms. And right foot sets forward into our split position. And both legs back. We'll drive the left knee forward, spin the foot. Up tall emperor pigeon. If you want to bring that back foot in, you can. And release the foot. We'll lay it down. Fully relax here, guys. Sleeping pigeon. And we'll come up, shake out the left leg. That right knee comes forward. Spin the foot, sitting tall, emperor pigeon. And bring in the back foot if you like. We'll release, lower down. Put the pigeon to bed. Bring both legs around to the front. Just for a moment, before we tuck the left leg back and under us and lean back into this quad stretch and relax into it. Let's swap out the legs. And lay back.
release that leg. We're gonna turn it over and press into downward dog. We'll start by pedaling out the feet. Let's shift it into the hips. Go hip sway from side to side. And let's get into the shoulders. Moving your weight from left to right palm. And lower your knees to the floor. Put your toes together and sit back into child's pose. And relax, breathing into your tummy. Bring our legs through. We'll lean back into our happy snail. And lower down into happy baby. in, hug them into your chest, squeeze them in tight, and release, relax, Devasana for two minutes starts right now.
upgrade complete. Woo, hell. Peeps. Bam. Happy Tabata Tuesday. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Tomorrow we got Recovery Wednesday coming up. And also, if you want to hang out at the very end of this, I'm going to post a shoulder, chest kind of opening, stretching sequence. It'll be seven minutes long. I'm going to run it all through the week. Um, yeah, it's mostly all the pressing, all the, the burpees and the push-ups that we do. This can get really tight. So we're going to try and unlock this position. Stick around for that. Patrons, thank you for your continued support. Subs, people passing through, appreciate you guys as well. Catch you tomorrow for Recovery Wednesday. Aloha. All right, guys, we're gonna do some shoulder chest opening stretches. This will improve your posture. It will help undo all the sitting and the, the numerous push-ups and burpees we do on a regular basis. It's really important that we do stretch and open up this position a little bit more. So there is some equipment that is needed for this. And number one piece right here, the wall. We're gonna be doing a number of exercises using the wall. Also a doorway. We're gonna be leaning into the doorway, stretching and opening up the chest. We've got some rings or a pull-up bar that we're gonna hang from. And lastly, something, we got a little railing right here or anything about countertop height. Uh, and we're gonna use that. If you don't have any of those pieces of equipment, grab a towel, a band, or a broomstick. And during those stations that you don't have the necessary equipment, you just do some shoulder pass-throughs. And that'll be a good substitute right there. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're getting started in seven seconds. And we're going to do this chest opening stretch where you take the right arm back. You open up the shoulder. And we're going to lean into the wall as you open up your chest toward the world. Hold right here. And now adjust your stance so that you can get into a squat position. We're gonna keep the, the hand right there. It's even lower down into the squat now. Just changing the angle of that pull across the chest. We're almost there. Yay! Okay, hand. Take it off. We're going to do the left side next. So you want to think open up the shoulder, press your left hand in the wall, lean in, and then open up your chest. And you can actually play around with it. You can drop your shoulder into internal rotation. You can open it up and play around with it. Maybe stick in one position, lean into it. And now let's drop down into this squat position. And try to keep your chest tall. Uh, 10 more seconds. Two, one, and stand it up. Whew, okay. Now we're going to do an overhead stretch. So we'll place both hands up against the wall. And we're going to dive our head through our shoulders. Ooh, some nice back cracks. You can move your hips from side to side. You can dive your head through and chest through toward the floor. You can lean from side to side, do whatever helps you get deeper in the stretch. You can also place the other hand on top.
and shake it out. Okay, this next one is gonna be a handstand. So it's really more stability than a stretch. Two, one, so you can kick up or you can walk your feet up. And walk your hands back as far as you feel comfortable. And press, squeeze your glutes, and hold. Oh, and bring it down. And now we're gonna go hang from the rings. In two, one, and begin. Just hang, that's all you gotta do. We can relax. The idea would be to relax, but if this is bugging your shoulders, you can pull your shoulder blades down, make it more active. Bring it down. Next, you need a doorway. And you're gonna lean into it like so. You can keep your elbows down low. Step your feet back and lean in. Elbows drawn down as best you can. Or your elbows should be lower than your shoulders. We're opening up the chest here. And the shoulders. Try to relax and fall into it. And now bring them up. We go 90 degree angle, our arms straight out to the side and lean in. Changing the angle of that pull across the chest. And the last one, guys, is called the kitchen sink. And so you'll need a kitchen sink to do this or a banister, like so. And you reach back, you open up the chest, and you settle down as low as you can. Now, if you push your hips forward here, you'll feel the stretch more. Allow that chest to open. Push those hips forward a little further if you can. And breathe into it. Oh, and shake it out. All right, guys, that's it. You can do multiple rounds of that if your shoulders are really bugging. And there we have it. We'll, uh, we'll knock that out a few times per week. This is optional. And we'll get those shoulders and the chest healthy. And hopefully this will improve our posture as well. All right, guys, see you soon. Aloha.